Hello and welcome back to my channel. In my previous video of ReactJS, we had understood what are ReactJS components, the different forms of component like functional, stateless, nested components. Today we will do a small practical using those components. So to start off, I have kept the base of React ready. Like I need React from React. I need React DOM from React DOM. And I need the render method. So I've just kept the render method as it is. While the remaining, I have to start doing. While I'm going to do this practical about creating a book list. So we know very well when we are finding anything on any other website about the books, we get the image of the book with the title of the book and the author name of the book. So these are the three main inputs that we are going to take inside one component and we are going to display that. So to start off, I start creating with a function and I give the function name as book list. So I have created my function. I need to write the method inside it. So I start with my curly braces and we know we have to write first our return function. As we are doing the render method, render method needs the return and return goes inside the circular bracket. And inside this, what we want to display is what will be coming as a constant or as a component that needs to be displayed. So this is a skeleton that I am making it ready to be displayed. Now let's do what constant you want to display or what exactly you want your data to be displaying for. So I want an image first. So I create a constant image is equal to I'll just give the URL of the page or any image. So for currently, I have uh, found a page where there are best selling books available. I just copy this image address over here. And I'll just go and put it inside my data. Now this, I cannot write it explicit. I need to write it in the implicit format. So first I need to give the implicit content, the circular bracket. Then I need to mention the implicit intent. Then I need to mention the tag which we use in HTML. That is IMG SRC equal to followed by the alt tag equal to. This alt tag is very much important because without the alt tag, our data will not get processed. It will give you an error. So alt tags are always coming with a singular code and you need to close this. As we know, every tag gets closed inside the ReactJS. Now over here, I have copied the image address. So I need to just place that image address over here. So my image is set with an alt attribute. Now I need what title. So I need to give a title for my data. So I need to put constant title. Again, it is going to be an implicit intent. So we'll do an implicit intent and what I want my title to be. So I give it with the HTML as H1 heading. And let's go and see what the book talks about. So the book says the last thing he told me. So that's my title. So I will just put the last thing. He told me. So that's about my title. I need to put in an author. So I will put constant author equal to implicit intent. And I can mention uh, what tag I want for the author name. So for example, if I go with H5 and the author name, if I want to find out, I just need to go there. And I just find out that it is by Brands and Noble. So I just put that by and Noble. So this and is going to give me a problem. So I'll just put it as AND. And this is my data. So you can see the data is ready with a constant title, author, and the inputs are there for it to be processed. So this three is ready and I have created my function that is booklet. So I just need to change my default thing, which was there to booklist. 
So now my function is ready with the book list and I have mentioned the constant. Now I need to call this constant to be displayed. So I need to come back to my return method. Now what I'm planning to do is since this three is three different data, instead of writing those three multiple times, if I have to display multiple book lists, I can just make one more constant component and I can mention everything under it. So I'm going to create a constant book under which I'm again going to do an implicit intent with the curly brace open. And I'm going to do a return method. Inside the return method, I am going to write what I wanted. So I just going to create one tag inside which I'm going to merge all my tags together. So I'm going to use, for example, article because it's an article that I want to display on the screen. So it's an article. Inside article, I have my image that is coming in as the image which is here followed by the title followed by my author and these are all inside one article that is there and I need to close the semicolon okay semicolon now I need to call this together over here as to be displayed. So this is the main render method. What I did, I created a constant for the three data that I want to display on my screen that I got it all together under one. So where if I have to use this multiple times, I just need to call this constant that is a book. So I just need to call book and my book data will be done. But this book has to come over here because that's what the render method calls into the book list. So book list has to process that information. So for that reason, I will be writing here inside this a tag called as book with a closing. Now, this is what is my data. So whatever I have displayed over here, the three data is going inside one constant variable that's a component for the same that I have created. So this is a, con so a constant book is a component where I have three inputs that have been captured. Now these are getting called inside my book list under the name as book and this book list is coming in my render function. So when it will run it will display only the data which is coming here. So one data of book will be displayed. So let's save this and run to see what exactly is the output that I'm getting. So you can see I have got the image, the last thing he told me, novel that I have mentioned, and the last thing he told me. So this is how my data has come. You want to do any changes into it, you can make the changes. So this is one book that has been displayed. So we can see here multiples of books get displayed, right? So if I want the same content to be displayed multiple times, so since my data is getting repeated once, I want it multiple times to be done. So I can repeat my data multiple times. Like I can repeat this book multiple times. So if I just paste it again, it will be repeated. But you can see it's giving me an error. As the error says, it has no action. Why? Because two different books are getting displayed, but there is no main tag for it. When I was writing return under one, it was only one tag that was getting processed because of the data that is getting passed. So now I need to pass. So I need to know they are two different times I am passing. So I need to pass one more tag that is called a section. So I will write a section and I'll just cut this off and put it inside my section. Now you can see I have no errors that is popping up. So I'll just save and I'll run. I can see twice it has come my data. If I want it one more time, I just need to go there, put my data again, save it, run it, and you can see the third data is visible. So this is how my data is getting visible on my screen about the books. Now if I want to do some coloring, some uh, data that is all like uh, text that is appearing on my screen to be a different data or anything. I can do those styling as well. 
As in my previous video, I had said that we'll be dealing with index.js file and index.css file. So in your index.css file, by default, you have a tag. So let's do some changes over here. So I'll just remove these things out and I'll give what I want. So for example, if I want font family, the font family colon is the basic format of finding the uh, so font space family and colon that's the basic format of doing a styling so that's a css syntax as well so i just select system over here so it will take the data which is by default so i will take the system and i'll do colon and i go in the next and if i want to give any specific background so i can give background and if i want a color that is to be in the background let's like light blue and if i want my text to appear something different so i will just give color as like green colon so this is, let's see what's the data that is going to come up you see there has nothing changed in my application no color change nothing why because i have not included this code inside my js code i need to call this file so for that reason, I need to write an import statement. So import single quotes dot slash index dot CSS. This says import this specific file with a semicolon. Now index dot CSS file will be inserted. Dot slash means it is inside the same folder. So that's the indication of this. So now when we save and we run, we can see there's a color change this this color change now i put body color is equal to green and body background is equal to blue so you can see all have become green now if i want specifically to change a tag color like i have used your h1 tag right i have used your h1 so i can go to index.css and i can give h1 the same way we do in css so we can do h1 and we mention color if i want it to be red so i'll just save this and i can see it has changed to red so for all it will get appended so any specific changes that you do it will get affected or implemented for all because we are passing that inside a component and inside one specific data to be processed so this is all us one component which is getting applied image title and author and whatever tags we have used is under it that's why whatever changes we do it will get affected on all the data that is visible inside it so that's the beauty of jxs element where all your data gets executed at one go if you want the specific data to be come next to it because it is hardly three data and it is going at the bottom 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 so if you want it to come next to this first one itself you need to follow the simple html section that you had followed that's your table data i've returned inside my returner table tag and i've closed my table tag if you see i have made it small I've, because this is a tag of html and html all tag starts with a small alphabet only while inside the component everything is inside the capital which has to be displayed in react onto the screen so that's one of the difference that we so this particular data is getting displayed on my screen and uh, this is how we can do the further changes and we can make the look familiar for it okay so you can see my data has come now with three data next to it so thus you can see the text is colliding so you can do little more changes of cell padding and cell spacing that are the attributes of table tag and you can do the relevant changes to make the look different so this is about components and using it in a proper pattern so, so this is a simple demo of the components that we had learned in my previous video hope you liked my video please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching.